Gary Smith here. When it comes to Salesforce reports, one of the things you'll always hear me emphasize is the importance of creating matrix reports rather than summary reports. And there's a, there's a reason for that. And the reason is that when we click down from a dashboard chart down to the underlying report, we really want to see the next level of detail. And the best way to present that information is in a matrix report. So here's an example. This report shows us the total pipeline split by individual opportunity stage and by close date across the top. So the report nicely presents for us the amount of pipeline that is due to close in each month. It summarizes the values by month and it summarizes the values by opportunity stage. And it gives us an easy way to understand well just how much pipeline is due to close by stage within each month. So let me change the format of that report to summary format and you'll see what I mean. So this is exactly the same information just presented in a summary report format. And if I was arriving at this report from the dashboard chart I'd find it a lot more difficult to cast my eye over the over the report and to absorb the information and of course the more difficult it is to absorb the information then the more difficult it is to make decisions and to decide what action you need to take. So let me demonstrate how to create that original report in matrix format. I'll just quickly walk you through that process. So we need a brand new report and just the basic opportunities report is enough. And when you first try to create the report, Salesforce will default it to this tabular format. Well, that's definitely not what we want. So let's change the format there straight away to matrix report. Now in the report that we looked at, we had the stage on the left hand side. So let's go and choose the stage. Pull the drag the stage field over onto the report. And we had the close date across the top. So let's find the close date. And we'll pull that field over onto the top of the report. Now by default, Salesforce will group those dates by individual day. Well, it's probably not terribly meaningful. So let's click on this, um, click on this down arrow on, on the close date and choose group dates by, let's group the dates by calendar month. So in the main body of the report, we don't want to show the number of opportunities, we want to show the value of opportunities that are due to close by stage and by month. So let's choose the amount field and we can drag that field over onto the main body of the report and we want the we want the total amount. So we'll take the sum of the amount. Now often less is more so I'm going to first of all I'm going to take off the record count. So that shows me the number of opportunities that make up the individual amounts. So I'm going to deselect record count. And I'm also going to deselect the details. So when I arrive at this report from the dashboard chart, I want to see I want to see that next level of detail. If I if I really want to drill down further, I can click on the show details button and uh, drill into the individual opportunities. But when I first arrive at the report, I want to see it in this nice summary matrix format. Now, this is a pipeline report, so let's change the opportunity status to open. And in this case, I'll say, well, I want to see all of the pipeline, not just uh, within certain timescales. So I'll set the range for all time. There we are. Let's run the report. And there we go. There's a matrix report that summarizes the total pipeline by opportunity stage and by close date. And it really gives us an excellent way of just viewing the information, absorbing the information, and, and, and if we want to, then drilling down into further analysis. So that's a matrix report. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.